Righty guys, welcome back to another episode. So we've just left King Ash Bay. Um, we're heading to Lemon National Park. Uh, we just turned off onto the dirt road. No fuel for 330 kilometers or something it says. 366 actually, I think it said. Anyway, uh, yeah, hopefully we're gonna swim in some water holes or find some water holes. Might even find some barramundi, who knows. But um, hopefully there's no saltwater crocodiles in them. Uh, so two of the places we were gonna go, Bitter Springs and um, Wangy Falls, a uh, person got attacked by a crocodile and there was another one seen in there, so they're closed. But we'll see how we go. We'll take his with us and yeah, in for another exciting adventure. Let's go. Springs was closed. Uh, says it's closed for 2023. Apparently, um, I lost my hat, so I had to break out the old Akubra. I haven't worn in a while, so give it a little bit of a run in. And now we're just here. Where are we, George? Um, Southern Lost. Oh, yeah. Southern Lost City. Yeah, I remember now. So yeah, we're just doing the little walk along here. It's two and a half k's. Um, pardon? Yeah, there's a fair few flies. It's pretty hot too, so we've got a bit of water and stuff, and it does look pretty cool. But I'll just turn you, give you a look like some pretty cool rock formations and whatnot. So it's like a big, big loop track goes all the way around out the back, and you pop back out where you started. So then we just started there. Anyway, we'll take you along, see if we can get anything cool. Brought the camera. So if we can snap anything cool, I've got this big old lens on there that we bought, so everything's really zoomed in. It takes really good photos up close. Ah, uh, not up close, sorry, I mean, things that are far away, you can get them up close. But it's no good unless you're a fair distance away, but we'll take it along and see what we can find. Guys, we made it to the town river. It's really hot. George is sitting in the car. Uh, we just chucked the boat in. We were speaking to the ranger, but he reckons it's pretty good fishing. Um, we've seen a couple of crocodiles on the bank just there already, just freshies. But he reckons it's big croc country apparently. So he reckons there's some really big crocodiles in here. And even back at the bridge where you cross the river, he said um, up in there some pools. And whatnot and he said there's some big crocodiles in there apparently so we're hoping to maybe see a couple not have any interactions with them and go for a fish try and pick up a barra uh, I missed three barra this morning like you have seen already I lost my lures two of my good lures I found a lure. George, George found a little chubby yeah, yeah, so yeah a little tiny lure but anyway we're gonna go park this car back up get a bit of water and the drone and jump in the boat and try to get ourselves a barramundi. Hopefully, if we do get one, it's legal. We can have curry. Fish. 
Yeah. Yeah. The whole trip. Yeah. And this is salt water too, for anyone that doesn't know. So the barrel will be good eating. So we're on. Oh yeah. Really quickly, I'm just going to run through something that some people might find helpful, some people might not. But we we're going to do it in the video ages ago. But I'll just show you how I throw the cast now very quickly. So put it on your wrist, put the rope forward through your hand, and then always coil it from the back of your hand outwards. And then all I do is very simple keeping a watch. Key going, key going. This is a 10 foot net. Um, sometimes 12 foot nets are awesome for like sandy places and stuff, and then not so good for a creek. So we got the 10. But yeah, you just get it, grab it where the swivel is, put that in your hand, and then probably depends how tall you are, I suppose. Grab it again, grab it again, and then you just get the net. So it's like this, you know? And then all I do is reach across, hold it all like that, have your fingers out, thumb, grab it here, put it on your elbow, grab the inside sinkers, and just put them in your fingers here, and then hold that open. And it's already three quarters of the way open. It's so simple. Every single time, I swear, it's rarely, it's not a circle when I throw it, so. Look for these baits, and we'll go from there. And I do a little spin sometimes if you want it to go further, if you're near the water. Two mullet and two herring. So, a two bony brim, I should say. So, there's the mullet. Good bait size. And then, there's the bony brim. I think. Pretty big, but that should do us. Anyway, that's how we get our bait. Um, we got a bucket full. We got we're about six mullet and heap of bony brim. Go grab me pluggers. And yeah, I'm gonna find, jump back in the boat, find somewhere to fish now because I'm making a bit of a stir up. And the crocodiles were just on those rocks just there this morning. So jump in the boat and go and see if we can pick up a barrel. One last cast. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! We knew that hole would. Oh no. I got this net. Just can you just reef him in the boat? Just grab it and no, yank no, no, no. it. The pressure. He looks legal. He's thick. Oh, he's salty too. <laughs> 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 
Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. He Thomas. And he engulfed it. He and en you got him through the net and back through the net. Oh. Action packed in my eye. I'm. <laughs> I gotta quickly just We've see. been out here for how many hours with no bikes? Yes. I just gotta quickly measure it, see if it's legal. We are keeping it if it is. We're keeping dinner. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Yeah. 50. Uh, 59. You are dinner, mate. Oh. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> I told you. I was like one more cast. We've been out here for hours. Yeah, buddy. That's dinner. <laughs> Righty, I'm well, cast over there now. <laughs> <laughs> that is us signing off. Maybe should we have another cast yeah. before we go? We'll have another cast. I'll have another cast. Okay. <laughs> Right, yeah, so I picked up a nice barra, legal, which is awesome. So we're gonna go back, cut it up, and yeah, make fish curry with one side, finger bites with the other, or fish bites, whatever you call them. Something. George will whip up an absolute storm. So yeah, anyway, I was starting to think the Northern Territory didn't have Barra Monday besides George's, but yeah, it's been pretty good. So we just head out of this creek, it's, it's real shallow, it's only, it's not real, real shallow, but 1.6 meters, that's about all it is all the way out. And once you get to the mouth where it meets where we put the boat in, it's like um, all rocky and stuff. So you gotta put the outboard up and zigzag through a couple rocks and whatnot, but we'll find our way back out and yeah, we'll see you once we pull the boat out and we fill it in this barrel. Heaps of fish. Anyway, throw this carcass back in the water and cook these up. <laughs> this is it, my little Turkish delight fish pieces. Anyway, we're just doing the same thing as the clean fish. And I don't know why, like I, I like eating fish, but like it, I don't know, sort of. But um, barra money just gets me going. Yeah, Especially I when I it smell it so raw. Good. When I smell it raw, it smells, it smells good. I don't like the smell, that's gross. When I'm filleting the fish, I'm like, ooh, bloody awesome. Barramundi is delicious, isn't it? And we just put a little bit of the curry powder this time. Yeah. Not lots. Yeah. I hope you washed your hands. Yeah. As washed as they're ever going to be. Wash them in the river earlier, getting that barrel off my hook. guys welcome back to a new day uh, we just left Kakadu National Park we're just heading to the Daly River we've got about 70 k's left to go hopefully you're gonna try and pick up some barramundi George is engulfed in her go. book yeah she's loving it she's been reading the whole drive so yeah so about 70 k's left to go and um when we get there we might even chuck the boat in straight away I think George is real keen Real keen. Keen to catch the first meter barrel. Yeah, so we, yeah, we got a little competition going here. Who's gonna catch the first meter barrel on this trip? So we yeah. got <laughs> George. We got a lot of effort to put in, I'd say. Mm -hmm. But yeah, anyway, let's go. We'll see you there. We've made it to the Daily River. We're unsure where to stay at the moment, so we're just having a look around and whatnot um, at all these signs and stuff. And we're at the boat ramp, so just having a gander at everything. Just going to check out the ramp, see if it's tidal or whatnot. It's very interesting. I don't know if it's the same in Queensland, but the thread fin, how you measure them from the nose to the inside of the fork. That's strange. Anyway. But yeah, we're going to go and have a look down this boat ramp and see if it's tidal and just check it out. Look at that little fish. Fresh. Fresh. 
I told you. What does that mean? <laughs> I don't even know what the water is, what this river is. Is it, is it fresh? Is it salt? Maybe it is a rash. It's a river. For some reason, I thought it was salt. Why does everyone come here to catch and eat fish? Then? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, all of our um, belongings I just put in a pile over the other side. Fixed up the sounder. I've been having trouble with the sounder. I've been to the point where I was going to throw it across the paddock. No, I wasn't going to. I was thinking about selling it, but but I don't know why. Hummingbird, it's good. Um, it's just the wiring or it's having a problem somewhere. Anyway, I've ripped everything out, redone it all. It seems to be um, turning on and everything perfect on the trailer. So we'll put it in the water and see how it goes. It's doing like this funny throwing checkers stuff on the screen and whatnot. But anyway, past that, we don't have a battery for the motor guide. I've got it on charge. Um, the people here at the campsite are awesome. They let me charge the battery just in the shed. So. We got our little pile, which I'll neaten up just before we go. And yeah, this is our campsite. This is the campground, which is awesome. But boat's ready. Uh, we're about to hit the Daily River. See if we can pick up any barramundi. There's been a lot of good, um, good stories. So real keen. Uh, big barra. Uh, lots of them apparently. So a bit yeah, slow. What happened? Someone caught a meter six. Yeah. What? Well, yeah. A meter six. Yeah, so 106 centimetres. Yeah, yeah, and the bloke, one of the blokes here reckons he flew his drone, who owns a joint, flew his drone. Um, I haven't seen about 40 or 20 or 40 or something. He said on the sandbar sitting there. So, yeah, keen, bloody keen. Like a million crocodiles. Yeah, heaps of crocodiles and stuff. So, we'll get some more footage of crocs and hopefully catch some barra. So, we'll head down the boat ramp now and see how we go. Keen. keen. I just got one good hit. We're staying here for a little bit. We just said, I'll just give you a look. I'll just give you a look where we are. We just found this little creek, really shallow right there. The runoff's just there. So I'm just flicking my lures into the run out of the creek and we'll see how we go. Barra, we're up daily river. <laughs> Couldn't even remember where we were. Ah, that there, that's a stonker. How big is it? 20 centimeters. It's a pet. It is 31. A 31 centimeter gem. Make it look big if I go like this. Good <laughs> uh, bruh. There you go, mate. Where's dad, mate? Where's mum or dad? Mm. I'll put him back um, just to see if he'll have his thingy. Just pull and drop me in the now go, oh, you're kidding, and now come and. Yeah. And here it'll be ready. Bang. Is this one still fresh? Yep, yep. Oh, watch my line. Big? Oh, it's pretty big. Oh, he's a better. He's a better model. He's better. We're getting he's there. Better. <laughs> you! They're firing up. Oh, he's off. He's off and he's out. How big is he? Not big enough, but they're getting there. It looks like 45, I reckon. Come here, mate. Oh, you're crazy, mate. He's crazy on yours. Watch your foot. Oh no, don't They're oh, getting better. Come on, mate. They're getting better. <laughs> what is he? He is. 
46. I said 46. 46, model. Oh, we're not taking any photos of them. <laughs> no, we'll take photos of them. Yeah, we need the big daddies. Oh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> Hello, baby. oh, baby! Oh, Phil hooked him in the side. Oh. <gasps> no, he, he would have went for it. But look where it got yeah. him. Yeah, we hold this, hold this. Look where he got it. A heel. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I want to measure him. 27 centimeters. Whoa. <laughs> Ow, he just bit down on me. He was like, Yep. Is it big? Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Get that in there. Oh, no, the net's caught. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. <laughs> 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 yes. You found the dad. Actually, that looks like the mum. Ah, ah, you bit my finger now. <laughs> oh. Oh. That's a better size. Oh. We got the better one. You beauty, they look good too. They're he looks, nice and silver. Oh, I was going to say he looks green, but he's reflecting on your shirt. Right here, so we got dinner. 56. Beautiful little bar. The perfect <laughs> eating size for us. <laughs> We're on. You beauty. You beauty. <laughs> Rightio, well, we're going to humanely deal with him and then we're going to get keep fishing. Keep fishing, that's it. I'll keep you fishing while you do that. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I didn't get Oh, it's oh. tarpon. Oh. oh, and it, look at me, Lua. <laughs> oh, tarpon hit it on the hit it on the drop. Hit it on the drop. These fish are crazy too. They never settle down. Nice tarpon. Okay, this put the old prawn. Damn, I gotta pull the whole show back through this prawn. Mm -hmm. See, it looked like there was a little crocodile in that creek there. I was just having a look before. And, and this croc over here is eating something. Eating, yeah, because yeah, this this little creek there was like a head a head in there before, a little head, but it's gone now. So. Might have been a baby, it wasn't big if it was a crop. Let me hit that right next to that stick on the drop. <laughs> you need a pawn, little girl. Yeah. We got more pawn. Yeah, sure. Yep. <laughs> oh, it's a good size <gasps> barrel. Oh, get the net, get the net. <laughs> Oh, that is a good size fish. Do you want me fish. to scoop it or are you going to scoop it? Oh, it's a good size fish. <laughs> oh, right next to the boat. He's a better model. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> he's an acrobat. I don't know if I have the strength to hold this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You get the net? Yeah, you just hold the net until I need it. Okay. <laughs> Keep it away from the sticks. Yeah, quick, he's going under. Pull, pull, pull. If you get him in the net here, I can it. Huh? Oh. He's putting up a good fight. He's yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Yes. Get him, get him, get him. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> jeez, I'm shaking. That's a better fish. He's pretty big. That is a better fish. Oh. I was, 
I was just about to say, let's go because it's getting dark. That's funny, you have to measure him. That, that is a lot better. Oh, right -o. A nice slab of barramundi. We just quickly throw him on the measurement tape. I reckon he's like 70. Quickly throw him up. Oh, yeah, I'm right. It's so not 60. 60 Six, seven, eight, sixty-eight. We're getting there. Yep. And anyway, we already got dinner, so look at him. He <laughs> looks unreal. We'll get him back in the water. That crocodile's probably already coming over here. Probably. Go, mate, go. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> unreal. Right, eh? Well, we might wrap it up for the night because it's getting dark and we And we've got endless days here to do yeah, that. Yeah, and we putted here real slow, so we got a long way back. But yeah, we'll be back tomorrow when the <laughs> sun lights up to get more barramundi. Righty guys, welcome back. It's day two on the Daily River. Hopefully we can top uh, yesterday, which will be interesting. But anyway, we're gonna get up and boogie to the fishing spot and We'll see you when we get there. Guys, we've made it to the creek. No one's here, so right there. You, you winner. Um, also, I just wanted to say for people coming through here, we putted uh, basically idled the whole way here um, yesterday afternoon, and then we sort of gunned it a little bit on the way home because we're following another boat. But if you come here, be careful where you're going because there is yeah. stumps underneath the water, just underneath the water. Um, surface and everything you will come undone yeah there. like all this stuff along here just like floats through when it's when yeah the tides it's, it's dangerous like even i'm half sketching like i went dead low tide yesterday i made it all the way back through the trail that we made but like we did hit a few little stumps yeah we did hit a couple of logs yesterday but they were trees that were floating but anyway the current's pretty strong pretty ripping here so what we're gonna do is 
the creek here, the current is ripping past here, which would be feeding bait coming past that creek. So the barramundi just sit in that water, that bit of fresh water, you can see it's a bit dirtier. This is all fresh water, but that's like rainy water on the runoff. So the bait will be pushing into there and we're just bringing our bait and just hopping up across the line where the barramundi will be sitting and hopefully we'll pick a few, up, a few more up today. Look, there's a crocodile under the water right there and he just swam away. Yep. Yep. Got him. Hopefully. Hopefully this fires him up. Woohoo. Finally. I've been casting and casting. And casting. And casting. And casting again. So it's good now. It's good now. Finally getting onto him. Chuck him back. Let him go. So that's the technique he wanted. Right. Yeah. So. The technique he pulled up was a slow roll. Once it hits the bottom, just slowly start winding it in. I've been hopping it this whole time, getting nothing. Thought I'd switch to just a slow pull, and bang. Hopefully they think it's feeding time, and start popping off. Let's see. Rightio guys, that'll wrap up our Daily River episode. So, unfortunately, I had some problems with the GoPro. Um, I don't know why the stabilization stopped. That's why the video is shaky. And I didn't notice it now until I go back and edit it and whatnot. But anyway, the fishing was awesome. Um, I'm keen to go back again. So, yeah, it was a fun time. I hope you all enjoyed it. And... Uh, we're having a little bit of trouble with our Sianda at the moment, so I'm going to send it away um, back to BLA, the Hummingbird dealer, and they're going to hopefully fix it for us, so that could be weeks before that's fixed, but anyway, what can you do, you know? So, yeah, hope you've enjoyed the episode, and we'll see you in the next one. Ow. George, the genius, has... Oh. There was a crocodile. He's showing me the crocodile. Under the. I got excited. Oh, oh, shit. <laughs>